Hey guys, Mikhail here for another device deal video. Today we're looking at the industry's first Wi-Fi 6E mesh system from Netgear in the Orbi range. Now this is a technology that's unheard of uh, in the country. This is the first guys to do it. It's using a quad band system. So a lot of you guys have heard about dual band for many, many years now. You've heard of your 2.4 gigahertz band and five gigahertz band. But with this new technology, they've now launched a six gigahertz band for the public to use. The main benefit to that will be to reduce things like latency and of course give you some increased speeds. But we're gonna go into that a little bit more further in the video. So you might be wondering, why would you need a device like this in your home? Well, for those that need to try to get like cover kind of dead spots in a home of Wi-Fi, or you've got a quite a large increase of devices connected to your network, this is kind of the way of the future. So for those that know if you've got a smart home or just have many smart devices like smart fridge, smart TV, smart everything else in between, it starts to use up a lot more bandwidth. And on top of that, you need to cover a lot of range as well. So with the mesh device, it's enable you, it enables you to kind of extend all those ranges that you can reach and keep it at a really solid signal without, without sacrificing any of the quality. You'd notice that if you're going to use a normal range extender, that you generally have to find devices kind of pick and choose and try to hop on, hop off, and there's a lot of kind of disconnect between that, that variation as it changes from each access point. When you're going for a mesh system like these guys, it's all unified under one network name and all your device does is pick the nearest node to, to choose to connect to. But at the end of the day, it's still a lot more consistent. So inside the box, inside this three pack, you will find that you'll have three devices. One will be the router and then the two will be the satellite points. With these satellite points and the router, you'll find that there's a number of ethernet ports on there to allow you to have a LAN or wired connection to whether it be to like a smart TV or maybe a console device to give you that kind of increased consistency and speed. So inside, you'll also find a white box that includes all the power adapters, as well as an ethernet cable, which will link the router element to your modem at home. You'll also find that it includes an ins uh, instructional guide, which also on the back will show just kind of the, the ports and what they all relate to. So now we wanna talk about the specifications a little bit. So first things first, as I mentioned near the start of the video, this is the industry's first quad core, quad band, uh, router system, router mesh system. So I guess to just kind of summarize it all, uh, that six gigahertz band is going to ultimately give you faster capable speeds and lower latency. So that latency part is really important because as we know with more connected devices to your network, including not just your own, but even you know people nearby and your neighbors, they generally would be sharing uh, those like kind of 2.4 gigahertz bands. And so as more people are connected, it kind of causes some, some lags or dropouts. So with that six giga, gigahertz band now out, it's giving even more, more movement, more kind of consistency and less uh, congestion with network latency. When we're looking at the range, which if you're looking at one of these devices, is probably the number one reason you've clicked on this video to begin with. But straight out the box with the three packs that we've got here, these will cover 825 roughly square meters. Uh, as you may know with a mesh system, you can add additional satellites onto these as well. So if you were gonna add additional satellites or in theory have your router and then six satellites in total, you can have almost 2000 square meters of space covered. So that is essentially covering any home you can think of, any size, any capacity, business, retail, at home, wherever you want. This is gonna cover every single thing you can ever desire. So the speeds are extremely impressive as you could imagine. Now, I guess the thing with these devices is that you're getting them to future-proof yourself because honestly, these things have absurd theoretical speeds that you can reach. And in Australia right now, pretty much no one can actually achieve the speeds these are capable of. So with something, that's, with something like this, you're basically getting it and that's setting you up for life. Like you probably don't need to get another router or mesh anything ever again. So the speeds, you can get up to 10 gigabit speeds of download speeds, uh, whether by wired or even via Wi-Fi, but again, not even available anywhere. And then if you're going for kind of a wired connection, you've got multiple 2.5 gigabit LAN ports on there, and even a single 10 gigabit or 10 and a half or 10.2, something in that range. 
gigabit speed as well. So again, really just to emphasize, the download speeds of these devices are incredible and faster than pretty much anyone can get in Australia right now. If we're comparing this to the, to the previous version, which I guess would be the RBK853, this is essentially just about almost twice as fast. So that eight RBK853 is an AX6000 standard speed. These are AX11000. So you can see, even then, it is pretty significant jump. So now we're gonna take you to a bit of a setup, show you how easy it is to set up. So to show you to set it up now, first thing you're gonna to need to do is download the, the Netgear Orbi app from the App Store, whether you're on Google or Play Store. Then you're gonna to wanna to uh, want open up the app and set up an account. You'll need to allow local network access for the devices to kind of recognize each other. So once you've done that, you can sign in, create all your account, and you'll choose to select your Orbi, which from there, they'll ask you to scan a QR code and Again, register some details. They'll maybe turn you to, to unplug the modem before you get it all set up and going. Then once you've done that, you'll wanna plug in the, the Orbi router as well as the satellites. Just keep in mind, there will be a flashing light on this you'll see, whereas a strong blue light means it's got a strong connection. And if it's got an amber or magenta light, it just means that you need to move the satellite a bit closer to the normal router from here. The app should automatically connect to your Wi-Fi as a default network. It'll recognize on the app, and from there, you're good to go. Let's go now show you a speed test. So we're also gonna run a speed test here to show you exactly what these things are capable of. Now, just remember, they'll always be limited by your ISP. So here in our workplace, we are running off 100 megabit uh, download speeds and around 50 megabit upload speeds. So let's just do a quick test. As you can see, we're getting roughly just about our, our download speeds that we're paying for. So just under 100 there at around 97 and just under that 50 mark for the upload speed. So as you can see with these devices, you can maximize what you're currently getting from your provider. Uh, and then as you, if you decide to expand down the track in the future, these devices will be able to keep up with you as well. So guys, there you have it. We've just looked at the new Netgear Orbi 6E range, which is the RBKE 963 series. Uh, they come in both black and white as we've looked at today. So I just wanted to briefly go over the fact that this is one of the fastest mesh systems you're ever going to find. It's the most future-proof thing you're going to be able to find in the market. So uh, as I've mentioned a few times in this video, right now with what people are paying in Australia, these things are very overpowered, but it's something that you can get to future-proof yourself. So you can get this now and never have to replace it ever again. It'll keep up with as things change in technology. On top of that, you've also got something that can support a huge amount of devices. More than 200 devices can be connected to these at the same time and still work nice and smoothly. We're also looking at the very first quad band system uh, in the market, in the industry. So you've got your 2.4, 5 gigahertz bands and now even 6 gigahertz bands with one of those 5 gigahertz bands being dedicated between the satellites. So just to smooth up congestion and keep everything as efficient and smooth as possible to reduce dropouts. So you'll be able to find these on our website. And on top of that, we actually do a special trading program. So if you are running one of the previous versions of the Orbeez, check out our website or get in contact with us because we can do a trading program to get you a bit of a discount on the new models that you see in front of you here. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did like it, feel free to like and subscribe on the video. And if you've got any questions, feel free to give us a call or email or even an online live chat. And I really hope you enjoyed that again, guys. I'll see you in the next one.